welcome back to week three of our um, exam prep book. Let's talk about power crosses. We will be discussing power crosses in both spherical and cylindrical form. So prescriptions that are just spherical, uh, for example, a plus one uh, OU. Uh, also, uh, prescriptions that have cylinder or astigmatism correction. Um, we'll tackle those here in just a minute. But let's start with a basic discussion of power crosses. So we're looking at page five. Um, as far as ABO is concerned, uh, when discussing lenses, the lenses will always be in what we call meniscus form. So a positive front curve with a negative back curve. This would be represented in both a, a plus and minus lens. In both of these cases, we have a plus curve in the front. This is called the base curve of the lens. And then the back curve is always a minus. Uh, this is called the ocular curve. Again, in the minus form, a plus in the front and a minus in the back. We can see the characteristics of this lens uh, in the plus thicker at the middle and thinner as we move towards these outside edges. In our minus lens, we can see that our lens is thinner in the middle and then thicker as we move towards the outside end lenses. So remember, anytime that we're talking about uh, lenses uh, regarding ABO, uh, we will be talking about them in meniscus form, positive front curves and negative back curves. And we're going to start to see that represented in our power crosses. Let's get rid of our lens picture here and jump right into uh, the discussion about power cross. So on page five, uh, they've got the example. They're showing us that the uh, front power of the lens, so this is the front. Um, we would say this is the base curve, right? So on the front of the lens, uh, it is a plus six. In both the 180th meridian and in the 90th meridian. That tells us that the base curve or front curve of the lens is spherical. So when the meridians are the same, uh, it tells us that there is no cylinder correction. The back curve of this lens that they are asking us to calculate is, so here's our back, a minus five in the 90th meridian, and it's also a minus five in the 90th meridian. So again, 180 and 90. Now we've learned previously that the front curve plus the back curve of the lens equals power. Uh, in this particular case, if we had a plus six on the front, so six on the front uh, minus the five that's on the back, it tells us that uh, there's a one diopter of power in this lens. And we would represent the power, the overall power uh, in diopters in this particular lens as a plus one. Last week we learned uh, how to add um, like signs and opposing signs. This is our opposing situation. So we just take the smaller number away from the bigger number. So we took five away from six and we kept the sign of the bigger number. That was the plus. So this is telling us that a plus one diopter lens, so one diopter um, is represented by uh, the above power crosses. So they're showing us front curve plus back curve equals power. And in this example, it represents a one diopter lens. 
So this is a, fear, a spherical example. If we switch to page six, uh, it does let us uh, work through a few more of those. Let's go ahead and tackle number one together. So in uh, example number one, they're showing us that the front curve of the lens represented in a power cross of plus four and plus four. So again, a spherical front curve and base curves are always spherical. We will always have a spherical curve on the front. So you should anticipate always seeing the same number at both the 180th meridian and the 90th meridian uh, when uh, looking at the front or base curve of the lens. All powers are ground on the back. And in our example, we're seeing a minus seven in both meridians. This is telling us that this is a spherical lens. Spherical because the power at both the 90 and 180 are the same power. We're going to then apply our algebra. We've got opposing signs. Um, we're gonna keep the sign attached to the uh, larger number, that's the seven. So we're gonna keep our minus and we're gonna do seven minus four because when we have opposing signs, uh, we're always gonna use uh, subtracting that smaller. So seven minus four equals three. And we know that the sign is a minus because seven was the bigger number. So we would say that the power of this lens is minus three, and we can use the power cross to represent uh, the power of that lens. So a minus three in both the uh, 180th meridian and in the 90th meridian. So this is a minus three uh, sphere. Let's talk really quickly now about uh, cylinder lenses. If we jump to uh, page um, 12 uh, in our book, uh, we've got now a representation of a cylinder lens. So this lens has astigmatism correction. Um, and we're gonna be able to see that represented um, on that back surface of the lens. So let's go ahead and uh, look at, again, page 12, um, top of the page. So they're showing us that the front of the lens or the base curve is a plus six in the 90 and a plus six in the 180. Again, front curves or base curves are always spherical and they should always be pluses because again, we're talking about meniscus lenses. Now they're showing us that the ocular curves of the lens are minus eight at the 90 and minus 750 at the 180. That's telling us that this lens uh, does have cylinder correction uh, because of the fact that the powers are different in the two meridians. And we're able to determine the actual power of this lens by um, adding front curve and back curve. Uh, we just need to calculate them uh, separately. So in this particular case, we have a minus eight in the 90 and a plus six in the 90. So let's go ahead and apply that math. So the power cross is gonna help us lay this out. Now we know that the eight is the bigger number, so we know that the power at 90 uh, is gonna be a minus. And we need to just subtract that smaller number from the bigger. So in this case, we would say eight minus six equals two. And we already know that it's a minus. So we would say that this lens is a minus two at 90. 
we're going to apply the same rule to the 180th meridian. So we're going to take our minus 750 and uh, our plus 6. We've got more minus in this case. The 750 is bigger than the 6. So we know that it's going to be a minus. And we're going to pull out that calculator just to make sure. So 7.5 minus 6 equals 1.5. So a minus 150 in the 180th meridian. Now that we have um, our two true powers in the lens uh, figured out, we can turn this into an actual prescription. And we could write it um, in two ways. Now, prescriptions for purposes of being made are always written in minus cylinder. And we would be able to do that by saying that at the axis of 180, the power of this lens was minus 150. And then we have to figure out the amount of cylinder created in this particular prescription. So this is like neutralizing a pair of glasses. We have to determine how far we have to travel to go from minus 150 to minus 2. So the amount of travel between uh, 150 and 2. Um, and we would be traveling uh, 50 or a half of a diopter and we would be traveling in the negative direction. We can throw that on the calculator. We would say 2 minus 150 equals a half. So the amount of travel. We can also think about this on a number line. So if we had, um, let's say, Plano here, and we've got our uh, minus 150 here, and we need to get to minus two. How far did we travel to go from a 150 to a two? And in this case, we would have traveled a half of a diopter. So this is the written explanation for our power cross representation. This one is in minus cylinder form. Now, if they gave us this information on the test, um, and we did not see our minus 150, minus 50 at 180 uh, in the answers, uh, we would want to look at it in its other form. It's very possible uh, that if we were to transpose this or to um, start with our minus 2 at 90, that we would find our answer potentially. So in this case, um, again, we have to figure out the amount of travel, but this time, instead of going from 150 to 2, let's go the other way. So from 2 to 150, so now we're going in the plus direction and traveling a half of a diopter, we then can fill in our prescription. So the above power crosses are represented um, both in minus cylinder form and in plus cylinder form.